Hey, it's this old outboard. 62 Johnson, 18 horse. What it takes. How I buy parts, pulling the flywheel, and the fuel pump. Okay, here's the carburetor. It's been soaking for a few days. And wow, look how much cleaner that is. I actually had it in the front seat or on the front floorboard for a few days driving around with it so it could agitate and it's coming along nice plus my original formula was uh, evaporating so I threw a little gas and oil mix in there help things out a little bit and my parts are coming in slowly but surely all the parts that I have ordered are slowly but surely coming in I'm gonna just keep this thing in here soaking I think I'm gonna even add a little bit more more gas to the mix here and uh, take that flywheel off and see what we need there and speaking of parts coming in let me tell you how I do my parts okay this is how I go about ordering parts where I think I'm getting the very best deal now there are two big parts dealers online I'm not going to name them you probably know who they are if you don't look them up but anyway what I'll do is I'll jump online and go to either one of these two big parts dealers and get my part number I need then I go over to eBay and do an extensive search on who has it the cheapest which is normally close to or cheaper than the big parts guys but the best thing is is they ship the parts much quicker now I had a situation one time where one of the big parts guys um, shipped a part or didn't ship a part and I'm waiting for weeks with no any kind of notice no nothing I finally had to call them up and find out that the part was on back order so it like I said it took you know nobody told me anything about a back order or nothing like that so that's when I finally said all right I'm not doing I'm not doing that anymore I'm gonna stick with eBay I've had an account with them for a while. It's uh, it's fast, and I'll even get on there and look to see who who's the closest. But that's not always the fastest. Um, I've had stuff that I've bought right here in town, not 12, 15 miles away, and it took a freaking week to get here. But that was because of the 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 person that uh, was shipping it out used some stupid kind of shipping problem anyway this is how i buy parts i get the best prices doing it this way i've been doing it for a long time um if, if you've been buying from the big guys keep buying from them if you like them if you want to get it faster cheaper jump on ebay with a part number Okay, next I'm going to pull the flywheel off and see uh, see how things are looking under there. Um, that's the one nice thing about these 18 horse Johnsons. You can pull this cover off and adjust your points through the uh, top of the um, flywheel without having to take the whole flywheel off. So let me get this damn thing off and be right back. So here's one trick I learned a long time ago. Take a nylon rope, tie it around the old flywheel, anchor it down, get your wrench on there real good, and uh, pop that son of a bitch off. Another way to do it is take the same type of nylon rope, make sure it's nice and clean, pull out a spark plug, normally the top plug, stuff the rope in there, spin the flywheel just before it's up up at top dead center, stuff your rope in there, 
and that'll stop the flywheel from turning too. If you don't have the special tool, then that's your, that's your way to go. Now I've already cracked this with the rope and uh, worked like a champ. Now I gotta get the flywheel puller. Okay, I've got my cheap Arbor Freight flywheel puller on there. And you wanna make sure all those bolts are as even as possible and don't go too deep because if you go too deep and uh, you can see in there, you can hit one of your coils, put a hole in it, damage something. So once you get them in there, give it a spin around, make sure you're not hitting anything and uh, tighten her down. Okay, I still have my piece of nylon rope on there holding this thing down and give it a few good twists and then tap it. Don't hit it, just tap it because if you hit it, you can do some damage in there. I also sprayed a little PV blaster in there. And uh, I think I'm looking pretty even. All right, let me give it a couple more twists. All right, I gave it a couple more turns. My rope broke. I had to tie it back up and... Uh, Finally, uh, a couple more turns and she popped right off. One of the harder ones I've had to get off. But she's off. We'll take it off here and see what's going on. And uh, Okay, got the flywheel off. First thing you want to look at is the groove. Right there. Make sure it's not stretched out. And this one here looks fantastic. It's not all stretched out. And... Uh, bruised up because if you have any play in there it's going to screw everything up and then the next thing of course is oh no look at those coils <laughs> oh, wow incredible right look at them black the original they look fantastic on the uh on the metal side but on the actual coil side wow that's the worst pair of coils i've ever seen totally the absolute worst all right put that flywheel down uh let's see what we got in here it's starting to get dark outside so i'm having a hard time seeing shit but uh points look pretty good in there so yeah points look fair i've got i've got tons of points so i'm not worried about points but this is getting a little dark out and hard to see I'd say probably still usable and uh, so condensers and clean up the points see what they look like and I may have a better pair I probably do plug wires they may need to be replaced might be a good idea yeah, it looks a little crusty, rusty in there. All right. Okay, I've got the old fuel pump off. And it looks to be in pretty good shape other than the diaphragm is rock hard. But I think for 15 bucks, I've got enough parts for a newer style fuel pump. And I'll just go ahead and order the kit and go with the new style. Unless I can find a cheap ass diaphragm for this thing, because that's really all it needs. Okay, it's this old outboard, What It Takes, Episode 2. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out my other videos. It's this old outboard. You know the channel.